dear students in this session we will discuss accelerator theory of investment accelerator theory of investment as mangiu says a theory of investment which is more suitable for in inventory investment anyway as we have stated earlier investment in national income account includes business fixed investment consisting of equipment and structures residential construction investment and change in business inventories now keynesian theory of investment is mainly concerned with the business fixed investment that is investment in structures and equipment durable equipment now business fixed investment is important in two respects one investment is a significant component of aggregate demand as we have seen in the context of national income accounting not only that it is the most volatile component of aggregate demand and fluctuations in investment demand explains significant proportion of cyclical movement in income so investment expenditure is important it is an important component of aggregate demand it also causes fluctuations in output employment and income a second important role of business fixed investment is that business fixed in investment increases the stock of capital that is kt minus kt minus 1 increases the stock of capital that is delta k or net investment at a time period t a second important role of business fixed investment is the fact that new business fixed investments measures the amount by which stock of capital increases where int is net fixed investments so business fixed investment is a very important component in the long run process of economic growth that is something which you will study in the context of growth theories now we consider here that is we focus the role of investment only as a component of aggregate demand not as a factor determining long run economic growth and we have shown that investment is negatively related, related to interest rates investment is negatively related to the rate of interest investment is also assumed to be positively related to business expectations that is profitability of investment opportunities so investment is positively related to business expectations it is negatively related to the rate of interest now in the context of the acceleration theory of investment we explain the effect on investment resulting from a change in output the result the effect on investment resulting from a change in output this is what we consider here we will not consider the role of investment in capital accumulation as a factor in the process of economic growth etc we consider here only the effect on investments 
resulting from a change in investments. Now the Keynesian theory of investments, as we have discussed in the previous classes, considers investment as a portfolio decision problem and discusses the role of interest rates, the importance of interest rates, marginal efficiency of capital, returns, the role of expectations, etc. But it tells us little about the position of position of investment demand schedule. Even though Keynesian theory of investment considers investment as a portfolio decision problem, the role of interest rate expectations, etc., you will not get the idea about the position of investment demand schedule from the theory of investment as put forward by Keynes. Stated differently, it leaves us with the with the uncomfortable feeling that we do not know how much investment to take place in a given period of time. That is, we know that consumption is a function of income and if uh, the level of income is known, we know the level of consumption. But the same is not true about investment. We do not know how much investment will take place for a given level of income or how much increase in investment can be expected when there is a change in income. So we need to press forward with the analysis to sharpen our ideas regarding the determinants of investment. So the point I say is as in the case of consumption income relationship, we have no idea about how much investment will take place in the economy at any time period. So in the theory of accelerator, we will give a concrete idea about how much investment can be expected associated with a given change in income. Now to do this, we visualize a desired stock of capital KDT. We visualize a desired stock of capital KDT that the firms in the aggregate wish to attain. That is, there is a desired stock of capital that every firm wish to attain. Now, net investment represents net investment or IN represents addition to the stock of capital, addition to the stock of capital or we may think of net investment as a catch up response. We may think of net investment as a catch up response to a discrepancy between desired stock of capital and actual stock of capital. So net investment is considered as a catch up response to the discrepancy between desired stock of capital and actual stock of capital. Or it is explained as a response to the deviation of capital from what is considered as desired. Deviation investment is always considered as a response to the deviation of actual capital from desired capital. And the desired stock of capital depends on the level of output. Higher the level of output, higher will be the desired stock of capital. And accelerator model is a simple representation of this relationship. Accelerator model is a simple representation of this relationship. That is, investment is modeled as a catch-up phenomena, a catch-up response to discrepancy between actual and desired capital stock. Investment is always a, 
response to deviations of actual capital from desired capital now acceleration principle is a simple representation of this phenomenon now acceleration model acceleration model specify desired stock of capital as a multiple of as a multiple of the level of output alpha greater than c desired stock of capital is considered as a multiple of the level of out output now in the simplest form of the accelerator model net investment is equal to the difference between desired stock of capital and the stock of capital inherited from the past so net investment int is equal to kdt minus kt minus 1 net investment is regarded as equal to the difference between desired stock of capital and the stock of capital inherited from the past and the stock of capital inherited from the past kt minus 1 was the desired stock of capital in the previous period so it is a certain proportion of previous years income thus int is equal to k dt minus k t minus 1 is equal to what is k dt alpha yt minus alpha yt minus 1 or is equal to alpha yt minus yt minus 1 net investment is equal to a certain proportion alpha of delta y int is equal to proportional to change in income so investment depends on the rate of change of output the rate of change of output now this simple version of the acceleration model suggests an important feature of the acceleration model now alpha is known as the acceleration coefficient and acceleration coefficient is alpha is known as the acceleration coefficient which is defined as the desired capital output ratio because k dt is equal to alpha yt so alpha is equal to yt by k dt alpha the acceleration coefficient is nothing but the desired capital output ratio k dt by so k dt by alpha is equal to k dt by yt the desired capital output ratio k dt by yt now if uh, as an example alpha is equal to 2 if alpha is equal to 2 it means that every dollar of change in income cause a 2 dollar change in investment so investment is in this model is a catch up phenomena a solution to or a catch up to the discrepancy between actual and desired now let me give some definitions the basic relationship between the change in the level of output and the volume of investment spending is known as acceleration principle the basic relationship between change in output and volume of investment principle is known as acceleration principle capital output ratio alpha is known as the accelerator or the acceleration coefficient 
and the theory of investment based on this relationship is known as accelerator theory the theory based on this relationship is known as accelerator theory and this is the essence of acceleration theory here investment is a catch up to the discrepancy between the discrepancy between actual and desired stock of capital now recall from our previous discussion of a keynesian theory that change in investment causes a multiple change in income and this was given as delta y is equal to 1 by 1 minus mbc into delta i the multiplier the investment multiplier a change in income change in investment causes a multiple effect on income and in the simple acceleration theory a change in income causes change in causes investment change in investment causes change in income change in income causes investment investment new investment is net investment addition to stock of capital is the result of what is known as change in income so the simple acceleration theory uh, together with the, the multiplier process can explain cyclical fluctuations in output and it was introduced by samuelson in 1939 as multiplier accelerator model of business cycles if there is a shock to output growth if there is a shock to output growth investment will change change in investment cause multiple change in income further change in investment income etc this uh, accelerator multiplier model explaining fluctuations in income and output namely trade cycles was introduced by samuelson in 1939 now this is the simple acceleration model in the next class we will consider the flexible acceleration model because simple acceleration model is not very realistic not very realistic and remember also this the simple acceleration model is based on a desired capital output ratio a desired capital output ratio that must be considered so whenever income changes desired capital output ratio changes so naturally entrepreneurs will respond by increasing the uh, level of investment to keep it constant that is kt alpha is equal to kdt by yt can also be written as it by delta yt incremental capital output ratio and this is the accelerator model and in the next class we will see the flexible accelerator